It's your little box of sunshine on a cold day. Your personal, toasty, warm force field against the winter chill. A space heater is one of life's simple luxuries, turning a frigid room into a cozy sanctuary with the flick of a switch. But when the monthly electricity bill arrives, that warm, fuzzy feeling can quickly turn into a cold, hard shock. You stare at the number, and you can't help but wonder, how could it be so high? Your eyes drift over to that little heater, humming away in the corner. Could that innocent box of sunshine be a secret energy vampire, draining your bank account while you're just trying to stay warm? Today, we're pulling back the curtain. We're gonna find out exactly how much electricity a space heater uses and what it's really costing you. The answer is written in the language of your electricity bill, and I'm going to show you how to translate it. Let's start by exposing a huge marketing myth. You've seen the boxes. Energy efficient, eco-friendly, saves you money. It sounds great, but here's the stone-cold truth. When it comes to standard 120-volt plug-in space heaters, they are all virtually identical in terms of energy consumption. Whether it's a fancy oil-filled radiator, a sleek ceramic tower, or a simple fan heater, they all run on the same principle. They convert electricity into heat, and they are all nearly 100% efficient at doing it. Due to safety regulations for standard home outlets, these heaters are almost all capped at 1500 watts on their highest setting. So, that energy-saving model? It's also a 1500-watt heater, just like the budget-friendly one. The difference isn't in how much power they use, but in the features that control how often they use it. We'll get to that in a minute, Matt, because it's the real key to saving money. First, let's turn those watts into dollars. So, what does 1500 watts actually mean for your wallet? The calculation is surprisingly simple. All you need to know are two things, your heater's wattage and how much you pay for electricity. You can find your electricity rate on your utility bill, listed in cents per kilowatt hour or kilowatt hours. The national average is around 17 cents per kilowatt hour, so we'll use that. First, you convert your heater's watts to kilowatts by dividing by 1,000. So, 1 1,500 watts becomes 1 1.5 kilowatts. Next, you multiply that by your electricity rate, so 1.5 kilowatts times 77 cents equals about 25 cents. That means for every single hour your space heater is blasting on high, it costs you about 25 cents. It doesn't sound like much, does it? But this is where the danger lies. Those little quarters add up faster than you can imagine. Let's say you run that little box of sunshine to keep your home office warm while you work. Maybe about 8 hours a day. That's 25 cents per hour times 8 hours, which equals $2 per day. Okay, still manageable, but most of us work 5 days a week. So, $2 a day times 5 days is $10 per week. Now let's stretch that out over a month. That $10 a week times four weeks is $40 a month. Suddenly, your little space heater is adding a whopping $40 to your monthly electricity bill. And that's just for one heater in one room on weekdays. If you run one in the bedroom at night or in the living room on weekends, you could easily be looking at $80 to $100 extra per month. The cost of that cozy feeling just got very, very real. So, are we doomed to choose between being cold and being broke? Absolutely not. The secret to saving money has almost nothing to do with the heater itself. It's all about the features that control the power. The single most important feature you can look for is a thermostat. A heater with a good adjustable thermostat will heat the room to your desired temperature, and then, this is the crucial part, it will shut off. It will only turn back on when the room temperature drops instead of running continuously and burning through cash. The second best feature is a timer. This allows you to heat a room only when you need it. You can set it to turn on an hour before you wake up and shut off when you leave for work. You get the warmth without paying for it all day long. Using a space heater smartly for zone heating, heating only the room you're in while turning down the main thermostat for the whole house, is the strategy that truly saves you money. So, while that little box of sunshine can be an energy vampire if left unchecked, it doesn't have to be. By understanding that they all use the same power, 
And, by choosing a model with smart features like a thermostat and a timer, you stay in control. You get to enjoy the cozy warmth without the cold shock of a monstrous electricity bill.